and for touching our lives through oh, your music. Wow, thank you. 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 Um, makikita nyo naman eh, through, through the music, through the years, all the songs that I've written. There are certain instances in my life na because wala akong sinulat na hindi ko naramdaman. And all of those songs are, are going to be part of this concert. And all the biggest stars yeah, will yeah. go to your concert. Grabe. Well, I couldn't afford everybody. <laughs> so, uh, how did we choose our guests? Uh, Una, gustong gusto ko kasi yung i-guest talaga ang mga singer-songwriters. Kasi hindi naman po ako piritero. Ano na, alam, lumanay lang po ako kumanta. <laughs> Ganon lang naman ako kumanta. So, ganyan kami mga singer-songwriter na... Um, that's why I wanted to guest so much uh, Gray Valera, who is probably the biggest influence in my singing song, singer, my sing, singing songwriting career and then I wanted to invite two of I feel some two of the youngest but most you know celebrated young singer songwriters of the day uh, si Yen Constantino and uh, si Moira na you know reina ng mga mga hugot ngayon and of course I wanted to guest um, Vice Vice who Hindi na natin kasi siya nakikita ang kumakanta ng seryoso, di ba? Lagi na lang siya nagpapatawa. But deep inside, Vice Ganda is, is a singer. So I uh, na-inspired ako ng one time na guest ako sa GGV at nagpa-piano lang ako doon and then he was singing with me. I got inspired by that. And he's through, nung lumipat ako dito sa ABS-CBN, naging good friend ko siya. And then of course, uh, andyan yung mga dalawang naging partner ko. Um, si Michael V, na matagal ko nakasama sa Pabulgan. And of course, si Jano Gibbs, na una kong naging partner dito sa ABS-CBN, Two Small Brothers. And then of course, andyan ang uh, mga anak ko, si Lila, si Sarah, at si Nate. And syempre, hindi naman pahuhuli ang pinakamagaling na singer sa bahay namin, yung asawa ko. Regine. So these are going to be my guests for the concert. Of course, Hot Legs and the ABS-CBN Philharmonic Orchestra. Yes. At the king of parodies, then, <coughs> si Mr. Ogi. Sharon si Ban Sotni. Oh, nakalimutan ko si Ban Sotni. Oh, si Ban Sotni pala guest. Oh, my, my Korean Japanese Pinoy friend. Actually, nakaka-LSS yung ano. Tampansu na Yeah, so. Hindi ko alam kung narinig nila yung panta ni Bansot Ming Tabako na Bes. Kung hindi pa man, uh, i-download nyo po from Spotify. O di kaya, uh, you can follow him. Meron din siyang Instagram. Si Bansot Ming. Cute, cute. Well, for one reason, nag- nag-trend siya at uh, nakilala siya ng mga <laughs> Mas kilala pa nila si Banzo kaysa si Kesa kay Ogie. <laughs> Actually, sikat na sikat sa mga kapwa nating millennials. Okay, yes. for our first question, yeah. syempre magagaling sa nag-iisang dean of entertainment journalists, no other than the birthday girl, <laughs> Manay Ethel Ramos. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Manay! We love Manay you! Manay Ethel! Birthday niyo pala? Ay, may tanong ako kayo. Ay, pag may tanong ako, ano? Hindi, ang envelope na lang. Oh, sige. Walang problema po. May tanong ako. Yes po, ma. Yes po. Well, would you have made more money? Yes. Sa singing or banking? Banking? Ah, yung negosyo na. Siguro wala na rin yung banking. Kasi, ah, yung pong bank po kasi namin sa Batangas is a rural bank. And it's it's not your typical savings bank na talagang like Metro Bank or Security Bank. It's a bank for the province. So yung kita po namin doon ay talagang maliit lang. It, it's really, it is really uh, in the service of the poor people there yung, po, yung pong mga 
farmers natin, yung mga kababayan doon na hindi po, minsan pa nga, eh, ang, buho, ang kanila buhunan eh. Ano tawag doon yung collateral? What is collateral in Tagalog? Uh, pan, eh, pantubo, uh, pan, anyway, collateral doon minsan eh, kalabaw, ganyan. So, gan ganun lang. So, sa entertainer, <laughs> mas malaki kita kaysa bang. How, how many songs do who expect you to um, we sa concert po we were looking at uh, 20 songs kaya lang from you only well all of those songs are by written by me but um meron po ako mga duet so there's one duet with Regine one duet with um with uh, Vice Ganda duet with all the the, so, uh, parang hindi po ako aalis yata ng stage. Baka isang beses lang ako aalis pagpasok ni Bansot ni... Ako rin, ako rin pala yun. <laughs> Pagkanta ni Regine, baka doon lang ako makapagbihis. So, technically, I won't be leaving the stage except for that number. With the three kids, what are you going to sing? It's a song called When I See You Smile. Which I wrote for my daughter, yung panganay ko when she was still a baby. Actually, suggestion niya yun eh. Sabi niya, kasi tinatanong ko, ano kung gusto niyong kantahin? Sabi niya, yun na lang song yung When I See You Smile, which I wrote for her when she was a baby. So, uh, magigitara ako doon. Tapos, uh, kakanta sila, kanta ako, and then we'll be backed up by the orchestra. So, Cute yun. Cute yung number niya. For my last question, yes, before I give the microphone to Nesto. Yes, dito. Yung mga hot legs, yung yes. mga original members. Um, I think uh, wala na pa yung original. I think nakita na lang doon yung si Nancy. Meron siguro mo. Pero kung, kung sinasabi niya yung original na panahong ko, wala na sila. They are, or they are doing something else now. Uh, a lot of them are, are younger dancers now. Thank you, Bob. Ha happy birthday. How many of them? I think there will be 10 of them, 8 to 10 of them. Manel ka, Manel. And Tita, hindi lang po yan. Magugulat kayo sa opening number namin because we will have a big fiesta atmosphere. We'll have about maybe 80 to 100 people on stage during the opening. Kasi I... Uh, what, nung kino-conceptualize namin yung, uh, yung, yung concert, we wanted to celebrate everything that's Filipino. So ano ba, ano ba sa atin yung pagiging Pinoy, di ba? Yung mga piyesta natin, yung mga atiatihan, yung mga si Mariones, sinulog, yung mga ganyan. I wanted that kind of a flavor for the opening number. So there'll be a lot of people, a lot of dancers for the opening number. We, we wanted it to be woo, very, very big, but very very filipino interesting yes okay our official hashtag for tonight is hashtag ogi alkasi 30 years oh. and hashtag oa okay ang susunod na magtatanong ay isa rin sa may ari ng batangas the legendary tito na store quarter dito sa sa po tatal din ba po kayo de rosario ah rosario oh, that... your uncle was my classmate Ah. Sino uncle po ito? Ah, uncle of Hoping Sun, si Ramon de las Alas. Ramon de las Alas. Uh, he's my uncle. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, okay. Pinsan yeah. siya ng, ng, mommy. ng mommy ko. That's right. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, yung career mo, Ogi, ano, yes. tumagal ng gusto, ng 30 years, no? And you, I think, you think um, it lasted this long dahil what is the most, uh, uh, what is the strongest <clears throat> um, uh, fact, what is the factor that made it last this long? Was it music? Was it comedy? Was it acting? I think it's a combination of everything. <clears throat> but, uh, na, na bless lang po ako na naging part ako ng television. Kasi television talaga ang pinapanood ng nakararami, lalo ng masang Pilipino. Television ang naghahari sa ating mga tahanan. Kung kaya't, uh, I mean, nagsimula ako bilang musician, so nagkaroon ako ng konting pangalan. 
Pero nakilala ako, naging household name ako dahil sa television. At uh, I think that is what kind of, um, you know, uh, carried me through all these years. And because I was on television, I was on TV, I was able to do movies, I was able to do a little bit of theater, I was able to do um, many, many, many concerts. Um, you know, TV talaga sa akin, TV is king. Uh, everything else uh, was supplementary and it was an off and on thing. I would do a, a movie here, then stop, and movie here, an album here, stop. But TV was just constant. I was just on TV all the time. That's right, no? Yeah. Siguro TV and then second would be your music. Music. The songs saw you through, you know? That's true. That's why when you see the ad, uh, I don't know if you've seen the ad of my concert, it always says, oh, okay, the actor. Um, I am really more of a musician, pero mas naging prominent yung acting career ko um, on TV because of the comedy that I've been doing through the years. Um, in many, many networks. And of course, now I'm back home. Because I'm here really at um, you ABS-CBN. Know, I think it's, it's really TV. Uh, you've always uh, talked this way, malumanay, very gentle, very yeah. smooth, very suave. You know? <laughs> and people say, uh, you're lucky because you lasted this long because you're kind. Oh, you have a good you. heart. Thank you. Uh, is that... Oh, is that uh, an edge that you have over other contemporaries of yours? That's why you lasted this long, endured and made yourself uh, uh, durable? Wow. Parang yung iba hindi kain. Kaya na, I mean, we don't have to name names, but among your contemporaries, ikaw yung pinaka nag-endure at yeah. malaki ang makala hanggang ngayon. I think I'm just patient. Um, marami namang kind, eh. maraming mabait, but I never complain. Um, I'm always early. <laughs> uh, kahit anong pagawa sa akin, gagawin ko. <laughs> Yun nga problema sa akin, eh. lahat yung lang ginagawa ko. No? So, I guess sa pakikisama ko sa lahat ng tao, mula sa mga director, producer, uh, sa sa pelikula, sa musika, sa mga DJ, you know, sa lahat ng yan, naging kaibigan ko sila dahil naging patient ako, hindi naman ako nagreklamo. Um, yun lang, yun lang siguro naging sikreto. You know, um, listening to you talk is like listening to my brother Principa din Lasal. Oh. Ganyan magsalita ang mga Lasal brothers. Si, ah, si brother Victor, si, ben, <laughs> si Victor, o oh, ganyan magsalita yun. Diba? Uh -oh. You must have uh, been influenced greatly by the way you were brought up uh, in school. Lahat sila, ganun ay malumanay. Oh. Si Brother Gas, si okay. Brother okay. Victor. Yes. Yung kulang na lang, mamaya tulog na. Oh. <laughs> Kausap po. Eh. Alam mo kasi yung uh, tulog na. I'm never, ever, ever excited. Uh, I think that's part of my demeanor. May, minsan nga yung naalala ko, nagmamaneho ako. Pagkatapos yung katabi ko, eh, kaklase ko. Eh, may Metro Manila, hindi nyo alam yung Metro Manila, Aiden, ano? Eh, Metro Manila, nagwawalis. Bababangga ko na eh. Tapos parang iniwasan ko lang siya. Ay, basta natin ko Parang wala akong pulso. <laughs> but that, uh, that's really part of who I am. I get excited but very, 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 very less, ano, less stressful uh, life. I, I hope so. Nasa stress din naman ako. But uh, ako nga, pag gabi, ang ginagawa ko, Bago ko matulog, magpabatag muna ako. Maglalagay ako ng kain ko. But that's, that's some, some food for thought, no? that yeah. you can tell other, advise other people, other artists, young artists, how yeah. to, how to uh, get a hold of themselves. No? Yeah, uh, I think... Um, I think never ako nakita na nag-galit. Like, Kung meron man, I really just show it to very few. What makes you mad? Ngayon, wala na. Dati. Dati. Siguro, pag nagsit dyan na jelly ako. 
<laughs> Last question. Yes. Uh, yung mga songs today. Yeah. Uh, They're are, beautiful. You find them beautiful. Some people say, well, people yeah. from uh, the Centennials, which yeah. I belong to. <laughs> uh, yeah. they, they say that uh, the songs today have no rhyme, no reason. And uh, the melody okay. is so hard to place. Right. How do the songs today compare with the songs of your that you make? Okay, yeah, I love that question and I will address that in the best way that I could. Because I am exposed to a lot of new music, um, especially because of Spotify and because I've been working lately on film. And as you know, fi uh, on film, music plays a big part. So, And I've also been part of a lot of music camps, so I listen to a lot of what these young people write. The difference is, during my time, at alayo kong inakausap si Ray Valera tungkol dito, yung music namin, we'll make, we'll make it a point that there's a point where it soars. Pangako sa'yo, ipaglalaban ko. Diba? There is this part where it, parang mamamatay na yung singer and yung song. You know? Gusto na niyang magpatiwakal. Kailangan kita. Yung ganon. Hindi uso sa kanila yun. They hate that. I won't say no. That's too much. Too, that's too tough a word. Hate it. But it's not appealing to them. Yes. What they like is this constant. Pwede bang intimate? ko ngayong gabi. Ganun lang. You know, um, walang nagsusor. Parang monotonous, di ba? Parang mon it, it, it is, it's how they are. They're chill. Ayaw nila nung sobra. Although meron din silang mga hugot, ha? But it's all, hindi umakyat. You know, um, even the songs. Lahat lahat ng mga singer ngayon ay inaantok ang sound. Ang tao po dyan, i-educate ko kayo. Ang tao dyan ay har-har. Har-har. <laughs> eh, tawag lang namin yun, kaming mga singer. O yan, nagha-har-har na naman. It, um, yung... Ah, uh, ano ba yung kanta ni Moira, yung... Pasensyang <laughs> oh. I'm not mocking this, but this is the way they sing, you know. So, we call it har-har. You know, that's just our ter terminology for it. And everybody, lahat mo na, lahat ng mga pamangkin nyo, ng mga apo nyo, pakinggan mo kumanta. Yes. Nandito ako. You know, it's all muffled, and, yes. and that's just the way they sing. Then they have this, meron silang parang yodel, uh -oh. you know, um, na, siguro idol na si Fred Galang, hindi ko alam. Fred Panopio. Fred Panopio pala. <laughs> Sorry, wrong Fred. Um, but it's not a lady singing. It, right? It's just the way they sing. Okay. Um, and I, I, there, I, sa, dahil na-exposed ako dyan, na, 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 na nagugustuhan ko na. Like for example, Moira's lyrics, uh, ang espada ng orasan. Diba? Paano mong lalabanan ng espada ng orasan? Kung gara, no? Diba? Parang, there's, there's poetry. It's just different. Um, I guess in the same manner, no? nung kami naman eh, bata, at nakikinig kami sa mga Buha nang kita masilay. Hindi, <laughs> medyo luma ito ba na. <laughs> Ganun lang yun. There is this evolution of melody and it speaks about you know, how they are as a people. Uh, millennials are very chill. They're gusto nila yung monotonous lang. Ulit-ulit. You know. Ayaw nila nung may umakakit na gano'n. Um, is it is it um, excellent music? I don't know. Bottom line, kasi dyan is binibili. You know, some of the top songs now on Spotify are OPM, OPM, hard hard songs. <laughs> you know, and some of them, and because of technology, I have to explain this to you, because of technology, because of the Apple, and because of the Mac, they have become songwriters themselves and music producers. Kasi isang pinod lang nila, ano na yun. Eh. Content producers. Oh, content producers. Patong-patong na yung, you know, yung patches, they just repeat and, and this and that. And this and I that. suggest you sing a song like that in your concert. 
Well, actually, <laughs> we did noong, uh, noong for ano ba yung concert namin? Uh, Pamor. We did na gitara ako doon and then uh, pinatay namin yung ilaw. We sang Taghana yata. I cannot remember which song. And it was one of the most applauded songs. Kasi ang dami, 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 dami millennials. Um, and this is so funny. I noticed one time, siguro paborito ako nung magulang nung kinasal, no? Ay, kailangan si Ogi ang kumanta dun sa wedding. Ganun, di ako pa yung nag-host, di ba? So, syempre, inanta ako yung mga bala ko. Ikaw lamang ang tangi ko. Hindi, mas himas ko talaga yung, yung bride. Parang yung kula na lang mag-text, eh. <laughs> yung groom na nag-uukin pag parang hinihintay na niyang Abusin na natin ito. Sex na tayo. Tsaka kinitin ako talaga yun. Pambira pa. Alam niyo ba? Ako regalo sa inyo ng patay ni Lord. You know? But it, it's... That's reality. You know? They they like other songs. Um, kaya minsan pag nakakarinig ako, ang oh, ganda naman siya nung kanta ninyo. Yung nandito ako. Nakakatuwa pag may kabataan na ka-appreciate. 